merch. So I'm going to make the blend like a towel skirt that I've been seeing pretty much everywhere. I think it retails for 800, 900. I don't really remember, but I've been seeing it everywhere and I was like excited to finally recreate something that, you know, isn't going to cost me a lot of money and also is actually doable in a few hours or probably like 20 minutes depending on how much stuff I need to do with this, but it wouldn't be like a few weeks of work and then editing and then I'm just like, ugh. Anyway, let's go ahead and DIY a Balenciaga towel skirt from things I purchased at literally Kmart and a thrift store. So what you're gonna need to make a Balenciaga towel skirt is, you guessed it, a towel. Any kind of towel will do, but today we are using Anchor. I consider Anchor a high-end brand. I mean, who doesn't at this point? Kmart rocks, Anchor rocks. I would love to wear Anchor for everything. I'm literally just gonna use some thrifted buttons that I found for 50 cents from a thrift store near my work because I didn't want to go shopping and spend like $20 on a box of three buttons because that's inflation. If you want buttons, go to thrift stores, dig through their button pile because they will have multiple sizes of buttons for like 10 to 50 cents and it's, it's really, really worth it. I just tested a piece of the towel on the overlocker and the settings seem to be pretty good so I'm not going to change anything. I realize I need to cut off from here to here all the way down that way, which is about, about 10 inches. Are we so far I have overlocked the edges on the inside part and then now I am cutting off the waistline of that same inside part, that first layer of the skirt. I'm cutting off about two inches, as you can see from here. It's on a diagonal, the front part of the skirt. So just kind of. I have draped this multiple times on myself, and this is what I've come up with. I've cut it on a diagonal on myself, and then kind of kept overlocking as I went. And then now I've just kind of come up with the pins of where I want to sew, and I'll cut off the excess. I'm not being too clean on this project because I don't really care and I don't really see myself wearing this out or often. So this button I've just put in with a pin on the top. It's not even color matching. Like I literally do not care. And it's just going on the front there. And then I'm going to bring around the other side and put a buttonhole in this. And it's completely hidden on the layer above it. Now I'm just going to like sew the button by hand because it was so freaking big and so much happening. And then I got overstimulated and I was just like... I'm just gonna hand sew it. I feel real like medieval when I'm hand sewing, like oh like my lord husband's coming soon from the war and I am, you know, sewing buttons while he comes home and I will bear his like tenth child, you know? Do you ever feel like that? 